How I championed over a toxic past. I'm gonna give you a little bit about me. I built a mansion on a swamp, and what that looked like was I was physically abused, emotionally abused. My brothers were drug dealers, and I literally had to find salvation literally in a refrigerator box on the stoop of my home uh, so I could get away from the fists and uh, just the, the toxic household that I had. The interesting thing was that there was something that I had which was positivity. I always saw the good in any situation. It was super scary uh, to steal food to eat or even to be having a bat mitzvah and graffitiing on walls. It was really constantly a contradiction that I lived in. And I learned a lot. I really found that a lot of women out there are building a mansion on a swamp. You may not have been physically abused or emotionally abused, or perhaps you were sexually abused, but you have some toxicity in your past and you haven't dealt with it. And you've just piled on the makeup and the clothing. And that's what I did. I ended up with a plum job at Prada with all of this good stuff piled on a swamp that I didn't really deal with. I hope you can understand a little bit. Maybe there's something right now you're experiencing that you haven't really come to come to be completely real and honest with yourself and you figure you could just sweep it under the rug, but it'll get you. And it got me with a diagnosis of multiple sclerosis when I was working at this high fashion uh, house in New York City. And so really I could get into my whole story, but what I'm gonna share with you is this. Number one, the toxicity in your past, as much as self-help and law of attraction says don't go into your past, I say go into your past and look at it like you're a detective. Look at the, the steps and list it out and next to it write the lessons that you learned, the blessing, blessings that you've learned, and how it became a teacher. Number two, get rid of your labels. Get rid of the past and how you've defined it and now start to redefine it because you're gonna see it in another way. So no more problem past press releases that you have to send out to people anymore and complain and keep that alive. Now you get to put the kibosh on it, if that's the way you say it, and be able to talk about what you want to create, how you get to alchemize it, how you get to say, hey, I experienced this instead of saying, oh, I was divorced. It's like, oh, I ended a relationship. Let go of these labels of divorce and disease and free yourself to change your language and your paradigm. The last thing is this. What is your past, your present, your future, right? They're all happening at the same time. What are you being prepared for? How can your challenges be an initiation? And how could the past actually be the initiation for you to be a better version of yourself?